Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos un video que nos han pedido bastante. Es las 100 preguntas con una voz femenina. Así es, este momento las tenemos. Las preguntas no están en orden, pero te van a ayudar pues a afinar el oído. Recuerda que es importante que respondas en voz alta para que practiques y mejores tu pronunciación y además siempre teniendo diferentes eh, tonos de voz te va a ayudar también a reconocer porque si te toca un oficial femenino te va a ayudar mucho también esta práctica. Recuerda que si necesitas ayuda en tu preparación tenemos nuestro curso en línea en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este curso tiene más de 50 clases en un orden específico. Te vamos llevando desde lo más sencillo del proceso de ciudadanía hasta lo más difícil. También hemos repartido la información en diferentes módulos. Por ejemplo, tenemos el módulo de las preguntas cívicas, el módulo de lectura y escritura, preguntas personales, N400, definiciones y hasta te ayudamos a aprender el juramento de lealtad. Podrás descargar audios y transcripciones de cada una de las clases como apoyo para que puedas aprender mejor la información. Así que ya saben, si les gustaría tener la mejor preparación, adquiera nuestro curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Muy bien, vamos a la práctica del día de hoy. Mucha suerte. What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. Name two national U.S. holidays. Independence Day. Thanksgiving. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Any citizen can vote, 18 and older. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean. Who vetoes bills? The President. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. Who was the first president? George Washington. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Name one state that borders Canada. New York. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 
27. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Answers will vary. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? U.S. Diplomat. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because they have more people. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Name your U.S. representative. Answers will vary. Who does a U.S. senator represent? All people of the state. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Who makes federal laws? Congress. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Freed the slaves. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Mississippi River. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. 
What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote, join a political party. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. We elect a president for how many years? Four. Who is the governor of your state now? Answers will vary. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic. Who is the commander in chief of the military? The president. What is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Energy, Secretary of Education. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. What is the capital of your state? Answers will vary. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. What does the judicial branch do? 
Reviews laws. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. When was the Constitution written? 1787. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Defend the Constitution and laws of the United States. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War I. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. In what month do we vote for president? November. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, liberty. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, freedom of speech. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Provide schooling and education. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue con la práctica del día de hoy? Espero te ha ido excelente. Si este video te resultó siquiera un poco útil, recuerda dejarnos tu like. Es bien importante. De esta manera te estás encargando que este video le llegue a otras personas. Suscríbete para que no te pierdas ninguno de los videos que vienen en el futuro. Y si tienes alguna pregunta, no dudes en dejarla en los comentarios. Si te gustaría tener la mejor preparación, lo puedes hacer con nuestro curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Ahí tendrás todas las herramientas necesarias para llegar bien preparado para tu entrevista. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, mucha suerte. Si no la tienes aún, no te preocupes. Aquí seguiremos trabajando juntos para que llegues bien preparado. Nos vemos pues en el próximo video. Chao.